And Hello, everybody. It's it's. I want to call us the original home team. You know. Let's I agree. Wrong video here. Yeah. Refresh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Thursday again, people, and we are here. We're not really awake, but we're here. No, we are not. I feel like it's a Monday. I don't know why. Go. Sheesh. Yeah, and it's Thursday. What What's going on? Is everybody else, like, sleepy today? <laughs> I know three of us now that are very, very sleepy today. <laughs> I'm wondering if, because the weather is changing, and it's uh, getting maybe darker sooner. So, I don't know, maybe, because I know they were talking, I don't know what I was listening to, but they were talking about how, like, the, the shorter days does affect people. Like, huh. you feel t more tired. I hadn't thought about that. That could be. Yeah. Although, you know, I did so much driving earlier in the week, and then I had Tuesday, I got here at noon. Yes. And I taught, and I worked, and everything was fine. And then I, about, I don't know, 3 o'clock, I remembered, oh, my child and I have class with Brenda tonight, so I'm like, <gasps> okay, I'm going to be here until yes. 8 o'clock. So oh. when my husband brought Goodness. Ray, I said, bring me some food. So they did, and that was fine. And we stayed till 8 and, you know, like 8.15 to get all the stuff done. Yeah. And I go outside, and I, I always pull so I park so I can pull straight through. Yes. So I started driving, and I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So I did a U-turn and parked again. Flat tire. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, that's where, because I came back at 2 when I got here on Tuesday, or luckily I'm close, I had low air in my tire. Oh, well, So I went and took it and got, that's yeah, funny. I, I had either a screw or a nail in oh. the sidewall. Oh. I don't know how. That's a, that's that a new happens. tire. Huh? I know. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't get home Tuesday till like 10 o'clock because I'd wait for AAA. Oh. Thank goodness for AAA. Yes. Um, I love me some AAA. Still not fixed, so thankfully we have a second car. You know, the guy put the spare on and we drove home, and then I said, okay, I'll take the green car. My husband took the truck, and he went to the tire place, and they had a snafu on their end, and the tire they were going to put on didn't match, and then they didn't oh. have the one they needed for our truck, so they were going to have it delivered, so we still don't have it, but, you know, they told my husband, okay, one hour, and then after an hour and a half, he's like, mm, what's going on? And so now they're comping us the entire thing. <laughs> Well, that's I nice. Know. That worked out. It's good. So we don't, it's not costing us anything to get a sidewall. Oh, well, that works. Yeah, because replaced. I know. That always <laughs> yeah, kills me. Auto. Someone thinks you should never leave, right? I do, Really? <laughs> I know what. Well, I hadn't driven my car because I was gone. And right. so he just said sometimes just them sitting and the oh, weather right, change will right, do right. it. So. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Lots of you suspicious, right, Kathy? I mean, how do you get a thing through the sidewall of your car? I know. And I had just driven from Fresno that morning, so I'm like... <sighs> but thank did God. I, did I get it on the freeway, and it just... Maybe. The warmth and everything of the tire running kept it inflated, and it just, when I got here, it, I don't know, it sat at my house for two hours, and then I drove here. I don't know. It definitely was a slow leak then. It wasn't a fast one. Yeah, but from noon to 9 p.m. or 8 p.m., it had plenty of time to go flat. Yeah. So... I got the other car, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Uh, oh, my project. Oh. I wasn't here with it Tuesday, so now you guys can see it. It, it goes along with this kit. Oh. The limited edition holiday kit. I'm like, does it say holiday knit or holiday? Yeah, holiday, holiday kit. Holiday kit, yeah. This stuff is so gorgeous. Yeah. I know Daniel just talked about it Tuesday, but now that I have the samples, the tags, that it is. Oh, God, I know. this stuff is so soft. I know. I forget uh, who ordered it, but I wound it, and it was like, oh, oh did you? Yes. Yeah, fifty-three percent Surrey alpaca, forty-seven baby. Oh, we learned how to say this yesterday. Alpaca Roxanne. Do you remember what it was? I can't even see it to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my sample. It is not the exact color. This is the only color the kit comes in. But I am using yarn in my stash that's almost identical it's a different composition but same dye job and similar colors i think my next color is that one but it's gorgeous it is so fun it's just some um, oh ribbing i forget how many but by how many and then it's got welting so you knit some rows and then you purl some rows and you have an increase on your last knit round it's so fun it is i love that so even though she is a minus zero stick twig of a model <laughs> i still think it's going to fit because it's dimensions oh, yes. are 49 i think at the bottom 
But even Danielle and I were talking, like, you don't necessarily have to pull it down all the way up, you you know. You can just pull it up on your shoulder. You can pull it either like a cow like this, or you can go a little bit over here. But I like them all the way down, so I think 49 is going to be just fine. Yeah. And this is super wash, and in my case, this one is not. So this is really, I know this is going to grow. So I think it's going to be just fine. Ugh, so pretty. I had so much fun with this. It, it is very stretchy, Elizabeth. And I even got some knitting while I was driving to Alameda. Uh, you guys <laughs> didn't hear her say that, did you? What? No, my sister did some knitting on it for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only knit when we were waiting at the uh, appointment. I thought, yeah. Well, first I took the dog for a walk, and then I did some knitting because, you know, I had the dog with me. Oh, yeah, there the you go. Dog. Yep. I'm not going to leave her home with four cats. Oh, goodness. Yeah, no. Poor then thing. I, actually, it's funny. One of them, the longer amount of days I'm there, the closer the cat gets to sleeping with the dog. <laughs> and by the time I'm ready to leave, he's about that far from her. That is <laughs> funny. I know. When I get uh, another dog, and I want to get a cat at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Because I love when they snuggle. I know. It's so I just cute. Don't want, yeah. Two dogs is a lot, and I'm... Give you the link for that kit. Oh, Melanie, I... Yes, I've seen your pictures, Melanie. She has made several of these. This is a fun one. Ooh, I don't think I've paid attention to that one. That, that is one, fun. That one, this one is Silky Twist and Beaded Silk and Sequins in the same colorway, which I don't remember the name of the colorway anymore, but the cowl is Capel's Creek. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that was a fun one. Definitely not boring. No, <laughs> no. And the Beaded Silk and Sequins, these are dropped drop stitches so you wrap I think three times so you get that long span when you drop that stitch so very fun oh wow hello Nancy uh, stretchy yep okay so that's my project I didn't have a Tuesday so now you guys get to see it oh every time I say Tuesday I want to do that line from <laughs> gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today yep <laughs> no, from I, Popeye I didn't, I didn't get the inflection right no I know it from Saturday Night Live. I know, it, but it's but from Poppy. 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 Oh, sheesh. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Our <gasps> Sharon. What? Hello. Oh, Sharon. Oh, my goodness. Hello. How are you? You've been on my mind, woman. Yeah. When are you coming back to California? <laughs> come visit. Escape your hot weather and come here. Because Lynn the other day said it was really hot in Houston. Oh, really? I mean, not in Houston, but Texas. Yeah. It's giant and hot. Yeah. So. <laughs> I like that. That's all I know. It's giant and it's hot. So come back and visit. <laughs> all right. Our monthly grand prize. We're going to start with the yummy stuff first. We've got Pioneer Valley Green Apple Caramels. Say yum, that yum. ten times. No, I can't. I barely said it once, but I want to eat one. I, I told Danielle you were hooked on the pumpkin ones. Yeah, those the are The really pumpkin good. spice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got our... Whoops. Lemonwood multi tool. So you've got your needle gauge and your stitch gauge. It says hello. And it's so pretty that painting. <laughs> I know in there. the pink I love peony, it. isn't it pretty? Yep. It's a multi layered. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like so that. the pink is the bottom layer, and then they cut out all of this stuff and put it on top. That's so pretty. Because you can see the. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I like that. I even like the, looking at the edge. I don't know why I love wood grain, so very fun. It goes from a gotta be a two up to a seventeen. Oh nice. Yeah. A wide range. Yeah, that yeah. two the little oh, tiny one is hard to see. I'm a dork, I'm reading wrong. There's a zero over here. I was gonna I was say it to looked really small. And I'm like that it's not a two, but I Make it into a five. So this is a zero to a seventeen. I was gonna say that hole looks <laughs> I know, tiny. <laughs> We've got some woven cotton labels that say this took forever. I love that. I need those. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of other versions. So if you search oh, woven label, let's see. Oh, it's got its own barcode on the back. I wanna I wanna know now. Hold on, where you guys can find this one. We were talking about yarn being on a timeout. I love when I have to put yarn on a timeout. <laughs> yeah, so the, if you search woven cotton labels, you will find all of these on the website. Can you get it to stand up? I don't know. There, ooh, very good. Ooh, 
completely. I want to see. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> We've got the Panjori Leche, Leche candle from Volume Spa, which is... I Why don't we have... open it? You guys can't smell it. I Here, know. smell it. <laughs> I... <laughs> it smells good. I have one in my bathroom. It smells good. I have one, not this flavor, but a candle that sits by my chair, and every so often I got some stuff stashed down there, and I'm like, oh, there's a candle there. I thought I smelled something. It smells so good. <laughs> Joyce, how long has your sweater been in a timeout? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 68 and sunny, Nancy. Nice. Are, we kind of started getting a little gloomy, so I feel I like know. it's more humid. Yeah. It's kind of keeping the That'll humid. wear us down because we're not used to it. Yeah, no, definitely yeah. not. We've got some cute socks that's, that are pickleball. Nope, not going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't nope, think that one will nope, work. That one's not going to work. And a three set of yes. the roll-on bracelets. And they are made by ladies in Nepal who earn a living wage, which is awesome. And they are roll-on. Daniel said somebody got them on their ankle. I was like, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yes. Just you and your tiny wrists. <laughs> rolls on. I know. It'll fit you. They're, yeah, it does. They're, yeah. they're, I love it. And our... I think best part is one skein of merino cloud and one skein of mohair ombre one ply in this gorgeous colorway of 711. That's so pretty. And it starts with a seven, which means it's a seven series, which means it's going to flow from one color, the light, to the dark, or vice versa, depending which way it gets wound. Because we let it tell us how it wants to be wound. <laughs> Don't argue with yarn. You're going to lose every time. So we have Brassavola is one pattern that uses both of those yarns. Versant, which also uses those. All our patterns match what we picked for the yarn. And Vino Verde. It's almost like we planned it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got all three samples of these projects in the boutique. If you guys want to see them in person, there's Vino Verde right there. And um, Should we show them? The other one. Yes, show them. So I don't know if anyone caught this on Tuesday, but the other shawl is over here with our cute little girl. <laughs> our little Halloween decoration. She is so cute. She is uh she had a wig made for her. She has a little hat and a dress. But yes, I think she's so cute. <clears throat> so you come in, you get to see her. She'll she'll say hello. <laughs> yeah. I think three separate groups walked in yesterday, and they were like, oh, my God, she's so cute. <laughs> Jackie, there was uh, frost on your husband's window, car window. Yeah. I actually had to run my wipers yesterday because there was condensation. It was not frost, but it yeah. was definitely because I don't park in the garage. There's stuff in the garage because, you know. Yeah. Woodworking equipment takes the garage. Oh, geez, yes. Yarn has the house. So uh, <laughs> how you get entered for that is every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per completed transaction. And we will add them all up at the end of the month and draw on Friday, November 1st. Yes, and you can do it either on the phone, online, or in the boutique. Anything that completes a transaction. Our daily prize is shallops. I almost said the wrong name. <laughs> I want to say scallops, so. That's, that's a different pattern. Yeah. And I wanted to say something that totally is not this. I'm like, no, stop and read it. This one is really fun because it is mostly, well, it's all stockinette. And then these are created, this increase is created by yarn overs. And then right here, you have a little pleat. Oh, I love that. So it's like a three needle bind off, but you're not binding off, but you are, it is a three needle little thing. Excuse me. Interesting. I like yeah, that. It's very fun. And you can do it on the machine if you have a knitting machine. Oh. I, I don't know the name of this yarn because it got torn off and then it's not something we carry, but it is a really nice cotton yarn. You have enough to do the smallest size of this project. Pretty color. <clears throat> Ooh, still the 90s in Vegas. We're sorry. No. Oh. Come visit us here. We're going to be cooler. We are. We hope it stays that way. I don't want another heat wave, please. <laughs> So how you get entered is every little click of an emoji gets you one entry. This mouse is not cooperating. And 
every comment you guys make here is going to get you five entries. Your quickest way is to click, uh, reach that little arrow right there. And, oh, well, it's because my font is so big. That's what's going on. You can share to your story. You can share to your friends. You can put in your little note there. Ooh. <laughs> She's, hey, I was, she did, you did good today. I did, I you did. typed <laughs> and didn't have to fix it. Yeah, so then when you do that, come back and say shared to and where. I was seriously going to type and where. <laughs> uh, my stories shared to my friends. If you share to a group, put the name of the group in there, and then that lets us find new peeps to interact with and share our, whoops, knowledge base. I already did that. I don't want to do it again. I mean, I could. Hit, hit the little blue arrow, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on Facebook that much, oh. but... Thank you, Nancy. Or I should say, I don't share that much. She thinks we're hilarious, so that's hysterical. That's good because um, we, I was going to say we try, but we really don't even we try. Don't. It just comes it's out. Just, it just, just happens. Us. So yes. let's find out who our winner is from yesterday's video. Oh, I have to write on this. Sandy Tokenaga, congratulations. Oh, that means you have to come in and see us. I know, right? <laughs> so when you come, if you're local and you come into the boutique, let us know you have a price waiting for you. And if you are not, and when you place an order, let us know in the comments and we'll put it in your package. Also remember we hold on to them for a month-ish. And I say ish because sometimes we do go over, but uh, we try not to because we don't have a lot of room back there. Yeah, when the bin gets full, we start going through it. Yeah, so, and it tends to get, I mean, the whole drawer gets full quick, so. Yeah. <laughs> back here so you guys should already oh Sandy's on hot diggity so oh Nancy she says that's the best it's authentic yeah, yeah as Daniel says there's no script here we know the subject we're talking about we mostly know what patterns we're going to show well what comes out of our mouth mm -mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> not scripted at all one person Daniel was talking to they were like you do a live show every day five days a week and there's no script and we're like nope no nope. we are i feel like it, it. yep because <laughs> see i love this you guys can oh, seriously only a few of these left so yeah. don't wait if you want this one it's so pretty and we will wind it if you put we that in the it. comments we will. just let us know so because we did have that question on tuesday 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 so we got a restock you guys recognize this yarn fluffy who knows what it is Thank Look, you, Sarah. I even made something, and I can't, well, couldn't even. It's so bad. <laughs> I made something, and when Anna moved, I gave it to her, so I don't have that sample Aww. anymore. My other sample is at home, because I didn't know I was doing this until I got here this morning and made it up. You probably could have told me, and I could have <laughs> grabbed mine. <my laughs> I know. I didn't even think of it. Um, this is, oh, yes, yes, Lisa got it. Roxanne got it. <laughs> Kathy, you can't script perfection. That's funny. <laughs> So Thank you for that. <laughs> we, we got some for real back in the boutique. It is so soft, you guys. It is it is 100% polyester, but you can wash it, which is awesome. This is the Foreverly hat because when we first got it, we had Everly as a little teeny tiny one. Cute. So a lot of our patterns out of this are named something to do with Everly. I like so that. So this is a hat. It's a little... You guys, when she, I saw it here, I was like, are you going to wear that? Like, it's so hot. Yeah, she's like, why is that on the counter? I'm like, well, because we're doing the yarn. No, I'm not going to wear it the whole time. Um, this is a little bit slouchy because Daniel likes a slouchy hat. I I, prefer, I do too. I prefer a, a, a beanie. Yeah. I want it down low on my hat head. So, you know. I mean, it keeps you warmer. Yeah, yeah. I like it over my ears, so it's all good. That's actually cute that way. It is. But I'm taking it off. Because you'll melt. <laughs> It's not, it's not quite ready any, for uh, that it's, type no, of hat. No, it's not for yep. real weather yet. Yep. Um, for real, no joke. But if you got started now, <laughs> you could make a blanket out of it. Because, you could. Oh, I have my done, goodness. We have some blankets to show you. I have done two blankets out of this. And, yes, I just said blanket. I, I did some blankets. I, I, One of thank them. Thank God I didn't fall over, you guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> one was hand knit, which let me see if I can find that one in here, and the other was on the machine. You can do this on the machine. You just use every other needle. Let me find the pattern. So is that because it's a um, because it's so thick, thicker yarn? Yeah. Okay. Um, I it. like that. You, it looks like you should be in Alaska. <laughs> I know, right? I have one. Uh, where's the blanket? And I think. I think this is the one that Brenda made her sister a blanket out of. She had the jumbo version. Oh, okay. I don't okay. know if she did this one. But okay. Because. Oh. So this so. is Everly's Wave. Um, our Natique Peep Claudia Rainda made this one. See, so it's so fun. One, two, three, pretty. four, five. That one's. Oh, I thought I had. Five. Yeah, there's a color in there we can't see. Oh. I feel like it's Is five. that four? No, it's five? one, two. You know what? Let's go look at the pattern. <laughs> See that? That one right there. That's the one I made. One, two, three, four, five colors. And then, so you've got dark, medium, lighter, medium, light, and okay. then the cream, or whatever combination you want. And so you go dark to light, and then it mirrors itself back the other oh, way. So it, I it love does, that. Just Charles Brown stripes the other direction, too. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so soft. But yeah, this is the one I gave to Anna, so it lives in Alabama now. Well, that particular one is not mine because that's not my background, but that one is. It's is it, very fun. I like the little dog sitting on there. It's adorable. Yep, so we've got several sizes. Oops, I'm trying to make it easy for you guys to see. But it's a fun pattern. It's based off the askew blanket pattern, which is bulky, and this one is super bulky. So very fun. And I think Claudia made two of them. Got her little doggy on there. And this thing is so Adorable. nice. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, she made that one big. That's a big version. Because normally you would do one skein worth, but I know looking at this one, that's two skeins because it's so wide. So she did two skeins for each section. And look at the little fluffy doggy. So cute. Doggy's cozy. Yep. I want that couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at some colors because oh, there's lots of fun colors. So soft, I'm about to drop it if you don't get a good grip on it. This one is color 41 Blue J. We gotta rearrange everything so we have room for yarn here. Everly's Wave, yes. And Blue J, it's a very, very light blue. Avalanche <laughs> over here. These two look a lot alike. This is 25 Little Blue Heron. Can you guys see the difference? This one leans blue, this one leans green. Oh yeah, I feel it shows like you up. can. Yeah, I was pulling them off the floor and I'm like, why are these two the same in different spots? Oh, they're not. <laughs> yeah, because one has, well, <clears throat> I was gonna- This blue. Yeah, I was gonna say they both look like they have a little blue, but- A little bit, but this one's more green. Yeah. That, is it a mirrored image on on the screen? That might not be. You might not be able to tell on the screen. <clears throat> this one is Morning Dove. Whoops, I forgot that. Sorry, folks. If that made a difference. My phone went off. That one is, sorry, Dove Gray. No, sorry, Morning Dove. Um, Nancy, is that four skeins or five? Are you talking about the blanket? I have to go back and find it here. Oh, she wants to make a baby blanket. All right. Um, 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 um where is it? Oh, let me view it this way. Hold on here. A uh, baby blanket is 30 wide by 46 long. Give me do math. <laughs> Give us the math. So you have my phone. 639 yards divided by 
One, two, three, four, five. Six hundred and. Yeah, but your yarn is double on each side. Yeah, I wasn't prepped for this question. Um, my phone's over there if you need a calculator. I know when we had kits put together, we did, we did, um, let's see, five colors. We did two, 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 one, so two, four, six, eight, nine skeins, because there's 71, 71 yards a piece, so I would get two, 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 and one. Even if they're doing a baby blanket? I'm going to have to double check that kind of math. Okay. Whoops, so I bet you can it's because the, the thing mirrors so you could do half a skein, half a skein, half a skein, half a skein, a full skein, and then go back the oh, other way. Oh, that's a good idea. Because um, I know baby blankets people make them smaller. Yeah, so like you would do the first color for five inches. The next size up would be six or seven and a half. So you would do five inches, five inches. Yeah, and it's 100 stitches. I'm going to double check some of this with people that can do math. <laughs> she said, don't worry about it. <laughs> She'll order five. Okay, good. Uh, and then Elizabeth asked, how do you weave in the ends? So, you can, you've got your old yarn and you join your new yarn. And what I like to do is I'll take my new yarn and my old tail and knit them together. But put markers on either side of where you've done that because you want to make sure you knit those strands together. And then on your way back, because it's garter stitch, you can grab the other tail and knit it the other direction. Put some safety pins there to mark your places. You're gonna have to tack them down with sewing thread. If you don't wanna do it that way and the knitting and the two together, just leave them hanging out like you do, tie them in a bow so they don't slip out. Come back in and you can literally stuff them in and out with your fingers and you're still gonna have to tie them down with sewing thread. There's mm -hmm. just no way around that because if they're too soft, they don't make friends. Right. It just slips out and you end up with these little tufts here and there which if you find them and go down tie that one down don't cut it shorter just get some thread and tie it down and especially if you wash it yeah you don't want to have them yeah you can wash and dry this stuff this one is so gorgeous it's 40 and it's purple starling it's got that oh Jackie, like very soft yeah I love it's it. a it's in that wisteria family, but not quite mm -hmm. that blue. Uh, Jackie knows someone who's made a pretty sizable blanket with 10 skeins. She's made many cowls. So we do have a hat pattern. We have a cowl pattern. Um, if you buy enough yarn for the appropriate project, we will throw the pattern in a printed copy in there for free for you. So just let me know if you want the hat, the cowl, or if you're getting enough for the blanket, we can do that. This one, oh my goodness. 38 Pompadour Cotinga. No <laughs> idea. These are all based off of animals, so if anybody knows what that animal is. I love that. A lot of them have been birds, so it, it must be a bird that has a lot of red. I think there is a bird that has that top, so that's probably why it's called that Roxana Grinch hat. That is so cute. I, I love, I immediately thought of Christmas when you brought it out. I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm trying to do a copy and paste here to look at the bird, but it won't let me. Uh, let me give you the blank, the blanket, the link on the screen. It should be, I linked it on the phone already, so you guys should have that, but let me pin that here. Yes, Roxanne, we do have a great Grinch hat. That's coming up to show you guys. Let's look at some patterns since we're talking. Oh, here's our Foreverly hat. That's our sample. Lots of sizes in that one. It's a very fun knit. It's great with palms. Yep, I got some palms to show you guys. Really fun little hat. There's our Grinch hat. Um, <laughs> Everly, when she was a baby, and she was not happy with us that day. <laughs> I was going to say, she does not look happy. No. So there's the little Grinch hat. It's got a cute little shape. You can put a little palm up there if you want. Does the Grinch have a palm on his hat? I, I can't know. remember. I don't know. That's funny. But I think you should. It would yep. make it I fold know. over. It'd be really cute. That, oh, wait, look, this picture so has 
a palm on it. Oh, there you go. That's cute. Put some bells on it. You know, have some fun. This one is by somebody else, faux chapeau, made out of for real. I think it has a folded brim. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd they get that one so fluffy? I know. Some, it looks like it's rolled under or something. I don't know. Very cute, though. You would need one to two skeins for that. <laughs> Rexanne's made like five of them um, pr Christmas presents to cranky friends. Nice. That's funny. I love this <laughs> cat mat lap blanket. I made one of these for my sister's cats and they do use it. I was down there one time and I machine made the blanket for my mom and I'm like, well, I got some yarn over. Let me do something for the cats. And it just sits on the table and they use it. It's so cute. I love that. Yeah. No, I don't remember how many I cast on. No, I did not have this pattern because I did not know about it. I just said, eh, that looks good and did some. So cats love this yarn. It's so soft and squishy. Oh, look at that one. That's cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. But he's also on the other knitwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did they use for this one? Oh, one skein, yeah. Pick your width and then just go until you have enough to bind off. This is a fun sweater you could do out of for real. Oh, that's gorgeous. How cozy would that be? Yep. You would never want to get out of it. It's so pretty. Super simple. Oh, wow. And that would probably go so fast. Right? Yep. You do learn to knit by feel because it's a little bit tricky to see. But it's also big enough you can knit by feel. Here's a blanket that uh, KFI put their, that pattern out. I That is just the best thing ever. I love that. Elizabeth says, it says hug me. It does, yeah. So 497 yards divided by 71. I can't do that math. So that's a few skeins, so, you know. <laughs> <sighs> just so warm and cozy. Is anyone doing the math for us? We'll find out. Oh my God, these are so cute. Knit bunnies from a square. You literally knit a square and the pattern tells you how to sew them up into a cute little bunny. That is adorable. And so soft and huggable. Oh my goodness. So cute. That's the first time I've seen them in for real. I've seen these because it's so cute. Look, they put a little tail on it. We have to get little miniature poop balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or make one. We got we got fluffy palms. You we can put on your little bunny behind. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Here, that would here's be here's a fluffy palm you can so... put on your your bunny butt. <laughs> we'll put some googly eyes in there and be his little head. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. For real brim hat. I, I love bucket brim hat kind of things. Um, Sandy asked, could you use Pharrell as an edge for a hat with other yarn? Yes. Okay. I have some of those coming up. But yes, you <clears> definitely <throat> could. Um, yeah, that's what the pattern looks like. Very cute. Oh, this just looks, talk about a hug. This thing is awesome. That's so long on me, it would be a dress, but I love it. Oh, yeah, you can make it shorter. <laughs> uh, nice, she looks tall. I, she does, yeah. yeah. A nice drapey cowl and just, ugh. I almost want armholes in it so I can stick my arms out, mm -hmm. you know? Faux fur poncho. There we go. Oh, that would definitely keep you warm. Mm hmm. I'm overheating just thinking about I know. it, but in a couple of weeks, that's going to be the best thing ever. So start now, because it can be a quick knit. Here is our Foreverly cowl, which I could not find the sample for that one, so, but it's, it's a cowl, you know? <laughs> I don't think I need to say much else. No. Nope. <laughs> Roxanne asked, can you get chinchilla and lynx? I don't see them I in the choices. I can check. Later, let me write that down. 
Hold, please. Yeah. <laughs> Chinchilla and lynx. Yep. All right, I will check that out and let you know. Okay, we got a few more colors. Oh, colors. Because we like color. I know, I love it. There's such a great variety. Marsh Wren, which is 46. It's just a nice soft brown. They've all got that cream yes. under color. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, the tips are... The tips are that creamy color and then a nice soft brown at the base. I seriously can't read with my glasses on. Canada J. Oh. That's close to chinchilla. I know chinchilla has more of the black in it, but this one cracks me up with its name. White tailed deer. <laughs> I was reading the list of colors to make sure I had everything, and I'm like, I don't have a white. Why don't I have a white? Oh. <laughs> I'm look at the picture. Because it's the key, tail. Key phrase deer. Yeah, and it's deer. the it's tail. Very method. definitely a deer color. Yeah. Warm but not heavy, yes. And other color. Something cockatoo. Well, cockatoo's a bird for sure. I know. I, Oops, sorry. Let me, uh, here we go. Let me see. It kind of has a little uh, Molucan cockatoo underneath. Maybe. I, I mean, I see pink. Or pink. pink yeah. I it's kind of. It, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a peachy pink. Look at that. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, especially the core underneath it. Yeah, it's, it's very see pretty. peachy pink. Um, if you're going to do a hat, we've got some new palms in this fluffy white one. I'm going to find that link for you guys. I didn't get that one ready. Let's see. I love the, it's, um, the color of this palm is very, uh, crisp and clean. I like, it is I love very it. pretty. Yeah. Here, hold on. You could put it with the, uh, um, on the Grinch hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't have Grinch green right no, now. No, we don't. Get this link up on the palms for you guys here. This one I thought we were out of palms. Uh, no. <laughs> we are never out of palms, you guys. There's I was link teasing because we have all kinds of fun ones. <laughs> so this one is is Snow Goose. Oh, perfect name. Now this one is painted red. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Uh, might need to go to the eye doctor. <laughs> I don't know if I can see it. This one. Red Start. Painted Red Start, so I think we're after birds again. Oh yeah. Fluffy red. Mm -hmm. Not quite that red, but it's it would close, be fun. Though. It's close, yeah. This one is Navy Swallow. Oh. So if you go to this page that I put up there and scroll to the bottom of the color choices, you will see these names. And I think the best one of all. Ah. Uh? Violet Saber Wing. Well, look at that. Oh. So these are faux fur, so they've been squished in transport. So if you get them with a like a cool blow dryer and fluff, fluff them. them up. Yep. Yep. Violet saber wing. And they have a snap back. So you take the, the snap off. And you're going to sew this. I always sew them wrong the first time, so I have to take them off. <laughs> so you're going to sew the snap to the top of the hat. And then your palm just snaps on. And it's great because when you need to wash it, you just take, take the palm off. Yep. You know, Leave the snap. Yep. The the first time we got these in, I'm like trying to put the thing through, and I'm like, it, I can't. And Anna was somebody who was like, it's on the other side. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so you guys are not the only ones that don't know that. So, and it'd be perfect because you can tack down your yarn at the end there with it. Yeah. Uh, at yeah. the same time. Hide your tail mm -hmm. as you sew in your thing. So put yep. that on there and put the palm on. And away you go. And I invariably sew them on the wrong direction first. And I'm like, 
<laughs> did it again. Because, you know, it's got the little bump on that side. So, yep. to me, it should have the inner part over there, but it's the opposite. So, yep. dyslexia is not your friend. Hmm. That would look really pretty with the gray. I mean, this one goes with everything. Mm -hmm. You're just so pretty. Okay, they there we are. go. Now we're talking. Now I need my glasses for the computer. <laughs> we have more patterns for you guys. Okay. Those are all our colors, but we got patterns galore. Michelin is a super bulky, a very, very fun pattern. It, you can't see it there, but it's a welted fabric, which you can almost see it there. But that's, it's like my cowl shrug <laughs> hug thing I'm doing. It's, um, you can't see my hands. <laughs> it's welted fabric. It's a knit pearl combination. So that's a really fun one. You would need two to more. <laughs> two to more. I like that. I would say two to three, depending what size you're doing, but two to more, definitely. Because, um, math. Supermodel hat. That's a very fun, easy hat. You wouldn't necessarily see this in the pattern, but it's really nice to have the ribbing on there. It makes it hug your, your hand mm -hmm. a little bit better. It does. Ooh, look, the double stranded that one. It's a fun, quick, quick knit. Uh, one, two, one, two skeins. Holiday Slipover by Petite Knit. Ooh, I like that. I'm like, it's gone. <laughs> I know. That would be so cozy in for real. You're a bad influence. I should make that. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. I don't know if I'm going to be cold enough for that, though, but God, I want to make one. I absolutely love this yarn, you guys. This is cute. That is adorable. Make that out of for real. It is so huggable. My child has made a crochet giant bumblebee. Oh, it's so cute. How cute. She made it out of for real. I have lost my stash of for real to the child. So would the child allow you to bring the bumblebee in? Yes, I okay. should do that. I'll you have should. to do that tomorrow. But yep. this is cute. Get really big eyes for it because you're going to lose them in the fluff otherwise. Safety eyes. But I thought oh, that was just so cute. D yeah. Big eyes for sure. Yeah. This one's cute too. Open trails sweater vest. Similar to the other one. But the other one had a little bit longer and a split hem. A little bit different neckline. But it's really cute. I really like vests. Mm -hmm. I need to make some more of those. I have one and I can't remember the name of it so I don't wear it. <laughs> Everybody wants to know the name, and That's I'm like, funny. I don't know. I can't find it in my Which library. Which shocks me, you guys, because she remembers all the names. I know. That that one, I've just got some kind of block, and I asked the other gal that made one, because we made it together in class, and she's like, yeah, I don't remember that one either. I'm like, That's oh, funny. it's so cute. Other Karen has done this one, double split color blocked cowl. That is a mouthful, but yeah. it is really, really cute. It's got a split on this side, as you can see, and I believe there's a split on the other side, so you can wear it whichever color up you want. That one, she's got it reversed, kind of half and half there. Uh, that would be, I would say just get one skein of, each, of two different colors and work the first one until you're almost out and then join the other one and go till you're almost out so you can buy enough. <laughs> Pretty simple. Those are the best. Yeah. Rever <clears throat> reversible and seamless. Pretty awesome. Time after time cowl. Similar thing, two colors. I would just go until you're almost out. Don't know if you would exactly see the texture, but it would still be really fun. I like two color things like that. They're yeah. Fun. Keeps it a little more interesting. Here you go, Daniels. Even, well, not Daniels, but she's made three of them. Even easier eyelet yoke. Super simple to knit. Uh, that would be gorgeous. You can do the yarn overs and it's not going to make any difference at all. And that way you're not having to modify the pattern with the front back instead. Which also is not hard. You just have to understand where they go. This is cute. I love this kind of thing. Capelet little. Uh, yeah. What is this? Solstice hug. 
they used a color changing yarn, but I'm after the silhouette and the comfort and the shape and the easy. Oh, there's Everly's Wave, the blankie. And then I scrolled around. This one's cute. Floof, Cowl, and Capelet. I love that name. <laughs> yeah, so it's in their description. They talk about how this part is a cowl, or a, yeah, a cowl, so that it keeps the back of your neck warm. And then over here is kind of a, a shoulder hug. Goes under your jacket if you want. It's really cute. That would definitely keep you warm. Yeah. And again, I would want to just keep going and make it into a over, yeah. hole over the Me shoulder too. thing. It's so funny the things we stand here and do and you guys can't see because I know. I'm, I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to Karen, so I'm like hand motioning everywhere. Oh. <laughs> this is adorable. Oh my It's a, 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 a bear rug. That it's so adorable. cozy. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, look at this face. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. That is adorable. Okay, I need my child to make one of those. Yep. Aw, a way to whip it. Or an Italian Greyhound. I think that's an Italian Greyhound. So tiny. Yeah, I had one of those growing up, too. <laughs> we had a lot of dogs growing up because my mom was a dog person. Okay, they did an emotional support chicken out of for real and perhaps some other things. But oh, goodness. How fuzzy nice is that? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Now I need to do that. I need a chicken out of for real. Terrible thought. <laughs> okay, here's the hat that they use for real on the fluffy bottom part and then a super bulky up here. So you could use Rasta or Savvy or Caracol or Ushaya. I love that. I think that's everything I can think of on that particular wall. So that is called Lara. Uh, yep, this is the actual pattern page. A free pattern, nice. Devin, I haven't made one either. He said, I'm the only person that hasn't made a chicken. Oh, Devin, come on, make a chicken. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah, you need to. It is so fun. All right, we have talked ourselves out of time. Oh. It goes by so fast. I know. And look, we're awake now. Yep. Thank you, everybody. You guys woke us up. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll keep lasting because. Oh, Roxanne says she's made Laura several times. It's a great looking pattern. That's awesome. Yeah, come hang out, Devin. You can make a chicken here. You're due for a visit in person, I think. Oh, yeah, Jackie says she made it in Daniel's Easy Eyelet sweater pattern. Quick knit. All right, any questions from anybody for a second before we get moving on to the rest of our day? Do you want to, Are you going to talk about uh, what you're wearing yeah, again? Yeah, I suppose we should, huh? <laughs> All right, this is Caples Creek Howl. It is so pretty. I did Let's not realize that pattern. pattern on it until you yeah. showed it. And it's so pretty. One skein of silky twist, one skein of beaded silken sequins. So fun. And what do you have on today? Oh, uh, let's see if I could cheat before. Uh, Field of Violets. This is so, I don't know if you'll be able to see the pattern, but we'll it is. We'll make it happen. It is Dream and Color Planned Pooling. Me. right it there so it's gorgeous. basically sophie scarf but i mean it is its own pattern and every time you get to the blue pop of color you do this little flower stitch and so it just kind of moves throughout the pattern depending on where you run into that color that's gorgeous very very fun one skein of dreaming color smushy in the planned pooling colorway yeah there you go so you get that yeah it's kind of like a what's the word oh. argyle argyle effect that's the word yeah <laughs> it's a fun pattern all right um yeah we gotta go get shipping done because i have seen orders come in so be me and danielle again tomorrow on friday and we'll see what we do then because it's not scripted. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have a great day. Thank you for spending an hour of your morning or afternoon with us. And if you're in hurricane territory, I hope you're okay. Yep. That's some crazy stuff going on there. I know. All right. We'll see yep. you guys later. Bye. Bye.